Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today we are going to be looking at one of the most essential things for any base that you'll ever see and this is to stop what I call the most stupid way to be raided in my opinion and this is called a water curtain so what this stops is it stops people from being able to cobble monster you and if you don't know what that is it essentially just means they place water and lava on top of each other until they make a giant lump of cobblestone that goes right against your base and it creates a huge mess it's ugly it's not fun I don't like cobble monsters at all and what this means is if you don't have a water curtain or something like it, it means people can go make these go right up to the edge of your base. They can make it go around your base. If you're on the world border, they can go right around your base and raid you from behind. It means that all your walls become useless because it's essentially just one giant block and they can just keep on firing through the little solid cobblestone. And it's just not fun at all. It's just no fun to be raided by cobble monsters. It's just... Just, in my opinion, one of the worst things to ever happen to anyone. So whenever you're building a base, it is essential that people build this first and foremost. Before they do anything, before they build any walls, before they build anything in their base, they want to build it on the very outside, and it's just super essential. And the reason I'm making this video is because not too many people do actually do this, but it is one of the most important things to do, or else some guy can just come around with a lava and water and just raid you within two seconds, no matter how good your defense fences are so let's actually take a look at what this thing can do so all this is is very self-explanatory it's essentially just a giant curtain of water hence the name water curtain and the only reason this really exists is because whenever lava goes towards this water it means the cobblestone will stop so if they ever build a cobble monster it means that they can't actually cobble monster through here it will always end up on the very edge of here which is great for you so for example if we went down here and this is the edge of your base and someone went down here placed some lava and then thought they would place some water on top of that after it started spreading out a bit as you can see it then goes along like this then you'd place lava on top of that again and then that would create more cobblestone this can take quite a lot of time to do but you'd wait for that lava to go all the way to the edge and then after that you would place down some more of this and then you'll continue doing this but this as you can see would take a long time but essentially what happens if I just go ahead and place the lava over here and wait for it to start spreading out there and maybe some on top of here, we can see that it's going to start actually filling up round here. And as you can see, I'm a complete noob because I hardly ever use cobble monsters, but as you can see, if we actually just stick a block here, the lava should spread down into here, and as you can see, um, it creates cobblestone, but it only creates a heat. There's no way you can get the lava to go any further here, and if you do place lava here, it just turns into obsidian. So it is really, really, really strong. And as you can see, if we place it here, it will spread out. We better place some blocks around it so it can actually do it. But as you can see, it just creates cobblestone. It's it's essentially an invisible border for these cobble monsters. It's really, really strong, and there's no way they can actually turn this into... There's no way that they can really get through this. And for some... Uh, the only reason this happened is because there's no block actually under here. That's just to make it look nicer. But there's no actual way to actually get lava through this water curtain, which makes it really strong. And all you need is one line of water. Uh, I just have these two borders on each side just to make it look a bit nicer. But you can have one, two, or three. It doesn't really matter. And the great thing about this is if someone actually cannoned you, they can destroy the blocks around it, but the water curtain will still be there. And good luck getting lava at the maximum height. And that is another big thing, is you always want to be building this at the... at at sky level to bedrock, or at least to the very bottom of where you can build it. Uh, you want to build this above your base, and then you want to make it so it goes below your base. So this thing is really, really strong, but still really, really simple. So let's actually just take a very quick look at a very quick tutorial on how to make this. Okay guys, so now onto the tutorial. Uh, this is going to be a very simple tutorial. It's pretty much super self-explanatory to actually make this, but there are a few things that you just want to note if you're building this. Uh, the first one is you want to build this one block behind your actual end of your land. So let's say this block here represents the very edge of your border. So people can build on here, but they can't build on here. You just want to place one block in where your water is going to be or where your scaffolding is going to be just so that people can't actually go to the very top, place down lava, and turn your water 
into stone then because then if they do that all the way around it'll bring down all your walls they can cannon throw it even though that's highly unlikely because then they might as well just build a tnt cannon anyway it can still happen so just one thing to note and that's pretty much the only other thing you need to note. So the next thing you want to do is after you've done that, build a mass build massive scaffolding, just pretty much going around all around your base. And you want to build this, like I said, before you do anything else. You want this, this is going to be your very first wall that you're going to make before you lay down anything. The water curtain should always be the very first thing you need to make. A lot of people make this mistake. In fact, even Jack did it. Way uh, Jack is the guy that's on my server, uh, who did it way back when. But anyway. The first thing you want is that's the first thing you want to do. So now all you want to do is after you have your scaffolding is you want to then go ahead and place water on the inside of all your blocks. If you don't want it to do, to be too wide, then you can just place another layer of scaffolding on the other side. But it doesn't really matter. It only really matters if you're making if you're going to be making walls that go all the way to your water wall, which is fine. But when you very when you start, you're probably not going to be worried about that unless you have a very vivid idea of what your base is going to look like, which quite a few people do. But at this point, it should look something like this. And all you want to do at the bottom is you don't have to have any sort of like like what I'd recommend is that you place blocks around it or slabs or something just so it doesn't go everywhere. But you don't have to do that. It's not a necessity, but I'd recommend that you do it on the inside just to keep everything looking tidy. So as you can see, this thing is super easy to make very simple it's essential though it's really essential i can't it's nearly as important as watering your corners there's just a lot of things and factions that are very essential but not many people think of even though they can be a little bit frustrating at times but anyway that's that's this it's really really good it's really strong but anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this video and goodbye from tnt madness